So in this video, I'm going to prep this Windows 11 computer. So this is a Windows 11 Pro and the version is 23H2. So before I run sysprep, I want to make sure that I run all the latest Windows update. I'm going to click on Windows update here. I'll click check for updates. So there are no more updates. So I'm going to access sysprep now. I'm going to go to the C drive. I'll open up the Windows folder. I'll open the System32 folder and the SysPrep folder should be in here. And this is the SysPrep folder. I'm going to open it. I'm going to run the SysPrep.exe file. So there are only two options here. I'm going to leave it as out of box experience. I'm going to select generalize and in the shutdown option. So I'm going to leave it as shutdown. Click OK. So now I get an error message. So I have to check what's the error message. So I'm going to open this folder, Panther. So I'm going to open this text file, the setup error text file. So I have to look for the error message here and I have to look at the date and the time. So this is the correct date. This is the correct time. So it's saying that BitLocker is on for the OS volume. In order to run sysprep, I must turn off BitLocker. So in the search bar, I'm going to type BitLocker. I'll click on Manage BitLocker. So it says in the sysprep error that I have to turn BitLocker off to run sysprep. And here, BitLocker is already off. So I'm going to run a command. I need to open PowerShell. So in the search bar, I'm going to type PowerShell. I'm going to right click this PowerShell and run as administrator. So I'm going to run this command, disable BitLocker. I'll hit enter. So it says it's at 37%. I'm going to run the command again, hit enter. It's at 33%. So it says decryption in progress. I'm going to run the command again, see what percentage is it. It's 31. Okay, so I ran the command again. BitLocker is not enabled in this drive. BitLocker is disabled in this computer. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to run sysprep again. So another error. So I'm going to open back the error file. So again, I have to look at the date and the time. So I want to make sure the error corresponds with the time. So the error I get here is for the Adobe notification. It is installed for a user, but not provision for all users. So I'm going to run these two commands in PowerShell to remove this package, Adobe Notification Client. Now, when you're doing that, you want to make sure also that it's the correct version number here. So I'm going to copy this first command. I'm going to open PowerShell. I pasted the command, hit enter. So I'm going to run the second command here. Okay, so I ran the two commands and I'm going to run sysprep again. So sysprep is running successfully now. So you might get different type of errors. You just have to run the command and it will remove that package. So I'm going to place those commands in the description under the video. So I hope this video was helpful too. I thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.